we know the work is out there. You can't tell me it's not because there are however many thousand homes in this area that probably are damaged. We've only got right. this many of them. I, I, I explained it to him because there are 435,000 homes in this area, yeah. in the damaged area. If you guys Think get 1% of those for the whole year, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm a, I'd be a billionaire. <laughs> Seriously. And it's like, even then, even in the busiest of storm locations, like, it doesn't matter how many people are working in an area. There will always be jobs left over because... Mm-hmm everybody's like, it's not just like there are customers out there for the taking and whoever shows up is the one that's going to get the job. Like you're going to get jobs that this company over here couldn't get simply because the person didn't like the salesman or because they were, or they're non-believers at that time. You have non-believers at the beginning for a while. Exactly. Or they don't have the enough information, you know, like there's so many, there's so many ebbs Mm -hmm. and flows in this industry, like throughout the course of a storm, and because it's like in the beginning you have the early adopters right the people that are just like yeah better safe than sorry you know yes. like the guys that are just like come on over and they invite you for dinner the first day that you like show up at their house then you have the people that are like eh, i'm gonna wait and see what happens and then you know a month later when they've been seeing inspections inspections roofs being bought then that's a huge group of people that you get then you have those people who they're gonna wait it out they're watching everything go down and they're like I'm still on the fence about if this this thing is real or if it's too good to be true. And some people want to stick around and see who's the company that's going to be stuck around here at the end of the summer. They want to wait for the flyby nights or whatever to get out of town. Well, then sure. that's there are so many levels. Like to believe that a storm is over after the first three months after it, when the buzz has died down because the out of towners have given up or the people who are shitty salesmen have given up or they're looking for just the low hanging fruit and they take off. That's the biggest mistake anybody can make because that's where when the buzz wears off, that's where the real opportunity opens up because now it's yours for the taking. So if your salesman just go out there and be like, all right, I'm going to go and harvest this stuff. It's theirs because the competition is virtually gone at that point, you know, where it's tooth and nail and stuff like that. So 